Today I'm giving you a new paradigm to feel happier and have better focus, energy, memory, and even improve your relationships. Dave and Bonnie failed marital therapy. That's right, their therapist gave them an F. How do you fail marital therapy? Well, after spending three years and over $25,000 and multiple medications and diagnoses for Dave, including bipolar disorder, ADHD, and a personality disorder, the therapist told them to get divorced. This made the couple upset because they wanted to be married. When they got mad at the therapist, she got nervous and told them that she knew a clinic who takes care of really difficult people and <laughs> sent them to see us. The husband's spec scan looked awful, much like the scans of addicts. But in his history, he said he didn't drink and had never used drugs. Now, what's the first thing we learn in psychiatry school about addicts? They lie. They lie. They lie. They lie a lot. So in front of his wife, I asked him again if he drank or used drugs. He said, Dr. Amen, I have many problems. That's not it. So I turned to the wife and asked if that was true. And she said, oh, yes, Dr. Amen. He doesn't drink, and he's never done drugs. He's just a jerk. <laughs> As I chuckled at her comment, I wondered why his scan looked so awful. It could be infections, a near drowning episode, very low thyroid, or an environmental toxin. My next question to Dave was, where do you work? He said, I work in a furniture factory, finishing furniture. He was doing drugs. In fact, he was doing the worst drug of abuse, which is inhaling organic solvents. My next question to Bonnie was, so when did he become a jerk? She said, what do you mean? I said, did you marry him that way? Do you have daddy issues that you're trying to work out? <laughs> no, she said. When we first got married, he was great. It wasn't until about five years ago that we started having trouble. Then she put her hand over her mouth and said, oh my god, that was about the time he started this job. Do you think our problems could be related to his work? In that moment, Bonnie went from seeing Dave as a jerk and someone her therapist was telling her to divorce to someone who needed help. In his attempt to be a good husband and support his family, he was being poisoned. It was easy to call Dave bad. But the harder question is to ask, why? Psychiatric diagnoses described his behavior, but not the cause, which is why the medications didn't work. How do you know unless you look? The most important intervention was to stop the toxic exposure and put his brain into a healing environment. I put him on our Bright Minds program, and with the right treatment, his behavior got better, as did his scan and their marriage. I wonder how many families are suffering because one of the parents or children has a brain problem that no one is aware of. How do you do marital therapy or family therapy with this brain? It will never work until you change your brain to heal your mind.